Hello Angel Babies, how are you today? So I'm coming at you with um, another spread. I literally just cleaned and cleared like all my decks, like all my workspace or whatever. And um, I'm actually going to be doing videos a bit different um, until the space that I'm still clearing the energy from um, uh, is or I feel like it's cleared off enough, okay, and then I'll be back to my regular setup, all right? But until then, this is what we got going on, right? So, let's just do a energy read. Again, whatever comes out is what comes out. <clears throat> okay, and cleanse and protect my face. what we have here oh so we have the tower okay so some of you are going through like a huge huge change um for some of you this may be for some of you, this may be getting a new job, okay, which is like an unexpected change, something that you didn't think that you'd be doing, so maybe you've been at a job for like a very long time and you just recently got a new offer. Um, for some of you, you're being forced to change home. Um, I'm also seeing for some of you as well, I don't know why I'm getting the word woman, okay, while well, I'm starting to channel, but there's a, a huge change possibly in a woman around you. All right. Okay. That's for somebody. We also have the five of wands. So there has been some confusion about a major change. Okay. Um, which is possible, especially if this is about a woman, I feel like I need to get my kipper deck. Okay. So let's just hold on just a second. I don't really like using this deck just because I feel like, I don't know, <clears throat> it's just something like energetically about the Kipper deck that I'm just like, ugh, like it doesn't really feel right unless I feel called to use it. It's definitely not one of my favorites, not because it's not a great deck, but just because um, I feel as though... I don't know. It's just always a lot going on with this deck. I, I don't even know how to explain it. So let me just stop there. All right. But I feel like I need to use it. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. I also have my bag of charms. Or my little pebbles here that I'm going to be using. So you can bear that in mind. Let's see here. I feel like I should use this one. Oh, two of them came out. So there's a message of concern with a woman here, okay, on the photo, which is out of five, okay? One plus four is five. So there's a change coming, okay? Um, from some of you, this change was karmic, okay? Because 14 um, is a karmic debt number, all right? So for some of you, this change that's occurring in your life that's causing you some, some sort of confusion, okay, or some sort of something, um, okay, and sudden wealth also popped out, all right, so there's some confusion about, um, money, or maybe you were having money issues, all right, <clears throat> and you also have a mature woman at the bottom of the deck, so that kind of goes along with what the hell I just channeled, didn't it, all right, so what's going on, what is this message about? All right, some of you feel as if you are a little, I'm hearing like bewildered, okay? You are really trying to assess what's for you and what's not for you. So I feel like um, this is coming before the abundance. So I feel like you may be having some concerns about money and you're really trying to assess like what you can do without, okay? Or what's serving you and what's not, okay? Is the state of mind that you're in is seeing what you can get rid of, <clears throat> You've also been working extremely hard, so I feel like this abundance is as well, well received, okay? This abundance is something you've been waiting on, okay? 
Um, as far as you working to get what you want, I do see that represented with the Eight of Pentacles here. So this is well-deserved and probably a long time coming for you. <clears throat> and I'm also seeing you guys being the Empress. So I feel like this woman, whoever she is, has really decided to take this Tower moment and utilize it to the best of her abilities. Um, and I'm just sensing female energy here. This message of concern is what's getting me, though. What is this message about? Because it can't just be about money. What is this message about? I'm sorry for the camera shaking. Yeah, okay, so definitely some anxiety here. All right, about starting a new cycle. Um, because we have the world card and we have the nine of swords. So... Some of you were just feeling very, very, very anxious, okay, about this new start, possibly with the King of Pentacles, because that's what I have here at the bottom of the deck. Um, so you guys were having a new financial start, okay, and you were concerned, okay, you... I feel, I like, I'm hearing some of you felt like you couldn't have this new start um, without being in the King of Pentacles energy, which is somebody that um, can manage finances, very very well so i really do feel like that was an issue for some of you y'all working real hard for others of you <clears throat> you will not be coming into a new cycle because i'm feeling like for some of you like this anxiety and this inability to see like what's really there in order for you to have a new start to get out of this tower moment hasn't happened for you um and that's just for a few of you I'm feeling like, though, this is almost like somebody, see, anxiety, that's the thing that's getting me, anxiety about what spirit, anxiety about what spirit, what is the anxiety out here? The Ten of Pentacles, all right? So the anxiety is coming in still with the family home, um, with husband, wife, child, happy dogs, and all of that. So you may, and see that the tarot readings here, you may be getting a lot of tarot readings right now or listening to a lot of tarot readings about, you know, what to do with your finances. And um, I feel like that's also causing you a lot of confusion. It's causing you to... Um, really be in a state of like lack which is getting in the way of starting this new cycle and being able to differentiate you know what's useful and what's not to you which causes you anxiety all right and you're at the nine of wands so i'm really feeling like you've had a really really difficult time just trying to manage your finances and trying to get by enough to even have a freaking new start all right <clears throat> So this spread is obviously about money, um, okay, and maturing with money because we have, you know, working very hard with you being the empress over here once you come out of, of all of this BS, okay? Um, so once you come out the bullshit, basically, all right, and you start really working hard, okay, towards your divine purpose because the empress is all the queens put together. She knows what her purpose is, okay? This is on top, you, you, this is on top of the five of wands, which means your hard work, is going to trump you being confused about whatever this was going on in the past, okay? That's why I'm seeing that. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, again, okay, because you had the Seven of Cups and then you had the Seven of Pentacles. So you're really seeing what emotionally serves you and what physically serves you and what doesn't, okay? You are, you're, you're making assessments and change, okay? You're planting seeds to make sure that they grow into your sudden wealth. So if this is a business venture, okay, if you were stuck making only a certain amount of money, oops, excuse me, excuse me, Okay, if you were stuck making a certain amount of money, like at a, like a dead-end job or just somewhere that you knew that you weren't going to be able to grow or maybe it's a message of concern because you got fired and you wondered where you were going to be getting your money from, um, Spirit is telling you that 
eventually money will come through, okay? After you decide what serves you and what doesn't because what could be blocking your abundance is like right under your nose. And for some of you, I'm feeling like it's this fear and anxiety and not trusting in the fact that you will be able to find something else is what I'm hearing. But the amazing part of that is that through all of this, okay, you go from being anxious and being, you know, concerned to straight up empress energy, okay? Like straight up, I got this, I don't need, you know, anything from anybody, independent empress energy. So I feel like that's freaking amazing. So that transformation is something that you should be proud of, all right? Even if it does take you a long time to make a decision because you literally have the world in your hands. You have so many options. That's the thing that I think Spirit wants to let you know too is that you have options to do whatever it is that you want. You literally have the whole wide world in your hands, okay? Um, I remember seeing that in school when I was a little girl. We used to come on the um, intercom on the announcements and you'd see you got the whole world. And it says he's got the whole world. Okay, you got the whole world in your hands. So don't be sad about some bullshit job that you didn't like or, or want to really keep. Anyway, because I feel like you, your soul is just always looking for something better. All right, so what's going to have to happen is you need to go into a state of meditation to figure out, you know, where your soul is trying to lead you to, what's going to be beneficial for you, okay, in the long run, emotionally, physically, and financially, all right? Yeah, oh my god, right when I said that, the hangman popped out. So you're going to need to kind of um, suspend yourself, hang yourself from a tree, okay? Not literally, okay? Don't go telling people that Angel Baby told you to, you know, go hang yourself because I did not. But what you need to do is gain a different perspective about what is going on so that you're able to work through this to get to that Empress energy, okay? Um... And I'm really feeling like you're going to find something that you're very passionate about, okay, that's going to open you up. As for now, though, let's go ahead and pull some oracle cards. I feel like I'm almost like out of breath, and I don't know why. It's crazy to me. Because my nose isn't stuffy, but I'm just feeling like, you know, feeling a little weird. I'm feeling like maybe somebody's having a hard time breathing, like... Are you guys having panic attacks because of this? Because that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like it's hard for me to breathe right now. It's hard for me to talk. Like you're having a hard time with this. It's almost like somebody is stepping on your neck or stepping on your chest or something like that. It's like the weight that you're feeling from it. Like you just don't know what to do. But it's like weighing down on you really, really bad. What does my fairy deck have to say? All right, everything is okay. Yeah, don't worry. It's all working out in a beautiful way. All right? So I feel like that's a huge message from Spirit that everything's fine, okay? Like, I know you're concerned right now, but do you see how she kind of has her hands up where she's like, hey, like, everything is fine. Like, just breathe with me, okay? You will be okay. And can I get another card here? Thank you. Yes. Okay. Be yourself. Okay. The situation calls for you to be your authentic self. Okay. Which is the best, which is the basis, I'm sorry, for your personal power. I'm sorry. It's getting hard to read upside down. Okay. And I feel like we, these are all purple. Which also symbolize like your third eye chakra, okay, your crown chakra. Um, so a lot of you need to do some meditation specifically on the third eye chakra to gain a bit of um, understanding, okay, and to gain a bit of foresight because the situation really is going to call for you to have that. Also with the unicorn here with the angel on the, or the, I'm sorry, the fairy on the unicorn symbolizes freedom so you guys really need to free yourself from your anxiety because it's blocking um your blessing okay 
So let's just see. Are there any people in the way of your blessing? Is what I'd like to know. Because oftentimes that can really, really, really deter you from being where you're supposed to be as people constantly being around you and in your ear about what you can't or should and shouldn't do. Okay. Those are the worst kinds of people when they think they know everything and what's best for your life. Which uh, nobody knows what's best for you. Okay. Literally nobody knows what's best for you but you because you're the only person living your experience. So... <laughs> Yeah. So let's go ahead and see what blockages you have other than this horrible anxiety. Okay. Okay, that's way too much spirit. Can I get less cards, please? We ain't trying to be in here all day. Thank you. Okay, so you have the chariot. Okay, so you're definitely moving on. All right. Um, we also have the Three of Wands as well and the Knight of Pentacles. So something is coming in, all right, because you have made a decision for some of you um, or you're getting ready to make a final decision about what it is and where you want to move to. And um, it's building very slowly, okay? With the Knight of Pentacles, all the uh, Knights are messengers, all right? All of the knights are messengers, and this is the slowest moving messenger in the deck. So it may seem like nothing's happening right now, okay, just because of um, the position that you are in. But it will change, okay? I do see it changing. So what is the advice that Spirit has for you in this situation? All right, I'm feeling like you're going to need to say some positive affirmations, okay, and speak over the finances in your life in order to change your circumstances, all right, in order to, you know, get that manifestation rolling. Okay, so throat chakra, the angels are helping you lovingly speak your truth, okay? So this may mean that, you know, opening up to someone about your concerns when it comes to your finances, so whether that's um, talking to your current boss, okay, about not your dissatisfaction with the job, but maybe another position that you think will better suit you, okay? This is about taking that job offer that you got that you didn't think, you know, was going to be for you and letting the people that you work with know that this is no longer for you, okay? And, you know, leave on good terms that way if you needed to come back or wanted to come back at another time, you can do that. Um, also, Spirit wants you to visualize success. See yourself doing well in this situation and have faith in a positive outcome. Yeah, so instead of manifestation um, coming in the form of positive affirmations, Spirit really wants you to work on visualizing. I told you that the purple here had to do with your third eye, and Spirit wants you to use your third eye to visualize, okay, specifically what it is that you want. And I feel like visualization practices and manifestation are very, very effective, possibly even more effective than writing it down. Because when you are imagining what it is like to have something that you want, you're imagining the type of day it is, okay? You're imagining what it feels like to have what you want. You are thinking about, you know, the emotions that come with, you know, anticipating what you want and then getting what you want and that satisfaction and, you know... It really, really, really just sets the tone, okay, to, you know, make sure that that comes into your experience, all right? So, Spirit wants you to focus on your success, all right? And that is what I have for you, all right? This turned out to be, like, strictly a financial spread. I'm kind of glad to kind of get away from the love readings because they're long and exhausting. And there's a lot going on with them, okay? So I was glad to come in and do this for you. If you need me for a personal reading, you can go ahead and check me out in the description box. Everything that you need is there. And, of course, as usual, I will see you next time.